Hi friends, let's talk about agent programming. When it's too late to learn programming, it's very easy to answer a question, but there are few more important questions and more tricky questions in my opinion, like age discrimination, how to get a job when you are a little bit older, and how and why to change uh, careers when you are a little bit older age, and already have some responsibilities and so on. So let's discuss that topic. Yeah, and right now I am in Lithuania, it's very nice weather, but <laughs> very bright as well. I will try to find some shadow places while I will move around city and discuss this topic with you. I'm asked quite often when it is too late to learn programming and funny things that I'm asked by guys in 20s, 30s and 40s, basically in any age. So let's go out, uh, out of the way this learning for programming and age. Do you know how old is oldest known iOS developer? I can check to do not mess the numbers. So the oldest known iOS developer is Masako Wakamiya. She is a Japanese woman and currently she is 84. At age of 81 she became iOS developer and developed iOS game and back in 2017 she was in WWDC and met Tim Cook here. And yeah, now in age of 84, she is IT evangelist. So, age for learning. Actually, that is not a blocker uh, or, and not a problem. That's more like excuse, I believe. If you are open-minded, ready to learn, you can learn anything. Programming, I don't know, whatever. There are few more blockers I believe so and most important one could be getting job in industry so let's discuss that one let me start by saying that older persons have at least few advantages comparing with fresh out from boot camp or college programmers the advantages are general work experience and knowledge in some specific domain or industry hiring the new person for company is always the risk and if you're hiring someone who already was employed there is Less risk that this person will be not, I don't know, employable and with age usually we become smarter, <laughs> most of us at least, and we have more work and life experience. So the most challenging problems in uh, tech industry is people related and uh, not tech problems. Tech problems usually is more easy to solve. And do not forget that programming is not standalone science or something abstract. Programming is here to solve real life problems, business needs in all the different areas, medicine, retail, sport, fitness, travel, just name it, any industry. And if you have hands-on experience in that particular industry, so that's clear advantage for you. You have better understanding about the problem which should be solved by programming and you already have advantages and you already are better candidate comparing with the person with the same tech skill sets but without knowledge in that specific domain. So that's definitely benefit and you can get in that only with age and with experience. If you have multiple skills under your belt, I don't know, for example, you have experience in product management, in project management, design, whatever. That's also clear advantage, especially if you are looking for a job in smaller companies and startups. In small startups usually Everyone do everything, whatever is needed to move project forward. All skills that you have matters. And if you only uh, know whatever you learned in bootcamp, that's not much really <laughs> comparing with someone who already have work experience in, I don't know, project management, for example. That's clear advantage. And age do not matter really here. In bigger companies, of course, if you are looking Apple, Google, whatever, if you are working in development, you will just take your tasks from backlog and work on small features in the project and maybe never will see product owner uh, for that specific product on what you are working and frankly for me that doesn't look attractive i prefer to work with uh, smaller companies and startups because work is more flexible interesting and you really impact end product and uh, your work really matters i will move around a little bit more it becomes a little bit boring to sit in one place i don't know what happens today in vilnius but it seems that everyone is getting married every time i found the spot to sit down new bride come in <laughs> <laughs> to make photos <laughs> so i see shadow about there let's try oh that's nice car 
a real expedition machine. Oh, I see the spot. Let's go there. So, I am in 40s and I am quite often asked by guys in 40s, 30s, even 20s, are they too old to get into the programming? So, of course, you are not too old to learn programming, we already clarified that, but I start to assume that maybe in some countries there are some stronger age discrimination or something like that. I do not see difficulties to find job in programming in Latvia or any other European country right now in my age so that's still cool and okay in 40s to, to like to be a programmer and I see that this trend that programmers uh, become managers in some specific age is going down because uh, many of us recognize that, that management not always funny job because it's more administrative job and not everyone likes that. There are plenty of developers who stay in industry and continue to work as developers in all their age let's say so <laughs> and maybe there are few like uh, me as well who already was in management and understands that ah I do not really like that <laughs> and going back to the programming again so yeah that's not a problem in 40s but maybe it is problem in other countries maybe I don't know in India I know that there are plenty of uh, young guys who finished the institutes uh, learned programming and rushing to get the job and yeah maybe situation is different there or in other countries if you are getting into the industry in older age of course you will met plenty of young developers around you and firstly I suggest do not make this uh, age problem for yourself uh, <laughs> that's okay if you have plenty of young guys around you who are smarter in, in the industry than you because they spent plenty of time in the industry working as programmers and you are just a newbie in the industry I'm working as programmer for four years yeah about four years now and of course there are plenty of guys who are younger but much smarter than I am and that's not a problem for me actually I enjoy when I have smarter people around and uh, that doesn't matter are they younger or older than I am and uh, they are saying if you are smartest guy in the room you are in wrong room so if you are smartest guy in the company and you are one who is developing all the new things and there is no one uh, to whom uh, you could learn better switch jobs and find some place where you will learn something new but back to question if you are in the country where you see difficulties to find job because your age or I don't know you are much older than I am and see difficulties to find job in any country there are still plenty of options remote job is uh, popular right now and um, yeah because pandemic almost everyone works remotely and uh, that really doesn't matter how old you are if you do not meet other person in the office if you're camera shy and do not like to show your age just uh, get MacBook. MacBooks have horrible uh, cameras and <laughs> in all the video conferences you will look just fine. But if more seriously, yeah, remote work uh, is one option. There are plenty of options to work remotely. I don't know who cares about your age when you are getting hired as a remote developer and freelancing another option build your own business, build your own career in freelancing. No one really cares how old are or uh, young you are if you deliver if you can work and deliver products you will be fine age doesn't matter here as well so I have almost half an hour left <laughs> okay we can cover one more question uh, when and how uh, to switch to careers and why to switch careers the most challenging and only really one problem what I really see in all the topic is when and why and how to switch the careers to programming or basically anything else. When you are in your 20s and you have no family, no kids and really don't have many of uh, responsibilities, you can do whatever. You can basically backpack around the world for 10 years, do nothing and after that come back and start career from scratch. As soon as you have family and kids that becomes really hard to drop well paid job even it is already really boring for you to switch jobs, start new career and so on. You can 
<laughs> you just can't. You just can't uh, drop job. I don't know. Take half of the year for learning new skills and try, start to try to apply for new jobs. That we are not doing that usually. <laughs> If you can, if you have savings, yeah, yeah, you can do that, but again, I do not recommend to burn savings. Actually, I have a video about that topic, check that out, it will be, yeah, right here. So, I'm old enough to use myself as example for almost any video. My 20s I spent in army and in police, and also I was bartender for about one and a half years. 30s I spent in IT, I started to work in IT as technical field engineer and spent enough time and energy in industry and get uh, to the head of product management uh, role in a relatively big company in local market. I was responsible for three countries, Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania. So, <laughs> kind of success story. In my late 30s, I understood that I do not enjoy really 8 to 5 job and I decided that I would like to start my own freelance business, build my own applications and basically become iOS developer because I always had passion for development and I like Apple ecosystem and I like build apps and really see how I can create something from nothing, yes. And I started to learn iOS development on early mornings and weekends and started freelancing on the side, yeah, and switched jobs. Basically, currently I am freelance iOS developer. My point to do that was build my own business, balance my own working hours and income and be able to work from any point in the world remotely. So that's what I really enjoy in this work. Is that my last and final career? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I learned to use cameras to create YouTube videos and even I was wedding photographer on last weekend. So. I definitely like to learn new skills. Yeah, my point here was you can switch careers in any age. It actually doesn't matter. Are you in 20s, 30s or in 40s? I see that life is really long, especially if you are looking at that example with women, which become iOS developer in 81 years. And it sounds scary. <laughs> To me, to stick to the one job what you not really enjoy just because you have paycheck at the end of the month. So that's kind of horrible situation to find yourself and uh, yeah, waiting for retirement if you do not enjoy your job doesn't sound like a good option. I'm not saying that anyone should drop uh, current job and learn development that will be the dumbest thing to do. <laughs> Please do not do that. I learned programming and started my freelance business on early mornings, weekends, that enough time just cut out some TV hours from your life and you will be surprised at how much you can get done or wake up on the mornings few hours earlier. I'm waking up at uh, 4 or 5 am and that give me plenty of time in the morning to work on most important things. I started to do that back when I had corporate job and I still continue to do that. That's just to give it a try. If you like to see in details uh, how I learned and what I did and so on, I have a video about that as well. Also, you may be interested to take a look on playlist about freelancing. There are few suggestions how to get clients, how to price projects and so on. If you are into freelancing, check those out and if you like this video there is a like button <laughs> right next to the subscribe button yeah you can hit that as well so that will be really nice if you will do that thank you for watching and see you on the next one Vilnius nice city really like it but it's so many weddings I don't know is it capital of uh, weddings for Lithuania or what or this is some special date I, I lost the count I saw I don't know 20 for sure, I guess even more. A lot of weddings, I don't know, a lot of weddings. Okay, nice city, really, really enjoy it. Oh, too bright here. Really, really enjoy my trip and uh, yeah, if you never was in Vilnius in Lithuania, I recommend check that out and tomorrow we will go around Dužepis. It's kind of a place in, uh, in Vilnius where they declared their own republic. It's not official, it's more like art place and hippie place and that's a really nice place to visit. I will go to there tomorrow. I don't know, maybe we'll record some video, but, but definitely not for, not for this channel. Okay, that will be on Instagram. Yeah, follow me there.
Okay, thank you for watching. See you on next one, so bright sun. Bye.